hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be working on our tournaments and also on the tournaments ui okay so first of all let's start from the race one scene okay as you know that on race one scene we have to add the countdown timer before starting the race okay so for that just open up your race one scene okay this will take a minute okay so now if we change into 3d mode double click on player cars okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the countdown timer so for that right here let's create a empty game object by the name of game manager okay and then if we go inside game then scripts then in the ui let's create a new script by the name of start countdown then click on the game manager and drag and drop this script let's move this game manager at the top in the hierarchy and then let's open this script okay and actually before uh, working on the script let's create a ui canvas here okay this will be a start countdown canvas and in here create a ui legacy text and this will be countdown text okay right here for now just type go make the width as 500 the height will be 100 and make this bold font size will be 50 and let's move it in the center and from here in the center as well okay if you check the game view here is the text let's color it as white or you can color it red if you want but i will leave this on white okay now in the script let's create a reference to that text now okay i will make this an array let's name this as countdown text okay and the reason i make this text an array is uh, because we were showing the countdown on this uh, area as well okay right here in this simple text area we were showing five four three two one and then go so that's why i make this an array because we will be showing the countdown on that area as well okay now let's create a float by the name of countdown time and time will be five seconds then we will create a private car controller array okay this will contain all of our cars uh, script okay name this as player cars then in the awake what we're gonna do we will find all the instances of the car controller and assign them to the array okay so in order to do that just type player cars equals to find object of type car controller and that's it okay and the reason we are getting all of the uh, car controller script is because when the countdown when the countdown timer is active then we don't want the player to control the car okay we will be disabling that when the countdown starts okay now after this we will create two methods the first one will be for disabling the scripts and the second one will be for enabling the scripts okay as i told you when the countdown down starts we will disable the car controller scripts and also the uh, opponent car scripts okay because we don't want them to be active okay so let's first of all disable the scripts okay 
so in here first of all we need to get all of the opponent car script and also the opponent car waypoint script okay so we're gonna say right here opponent car make this an array then opponent car equals to find object of type and we will say opponent car okay you guys let's just move this uh, in the awake method okay we will do this as same as we did for the player cars so create a private opponent car name this as opponent car and make sure that you make this an array okay and then it will find the all of the opponent car script okay then we need to get the uh, opponent car waypoint script so we're gonna say opponent car waypoints okay make this an array and let's name this as waypoints okay then waypoints will be equals to find object uh, find objects of type opponent car waypoints okay and right here guys make sure that you add s right here as well okay objects and also we are dealing with the ui so at the top make sure that you type using unity engine dot ui okay so now we will be disabling uh, all of the car controller script on uh, from these cars and also from the opponents we're going to be disabling the opponent car script and the opponent car waypoint script okay so let's go ahead and do it so in here we're going to say for each opponent car opponent car in opponent let's actually name this opponents uh, opponent cars okay and then right here we're gonna type opponent cars so it gonna uh, as you know that in here we store all of the opponent car script okay so from all of that scripts it gonna get them and then what we're gonna do we're gonna disable each of that script so we're gonna say opponent car dot enabled equals to false okay and now let's do the same for the uh, opponent car waypoint script so in here we're gonna paste that and instead of this now we're gonna type uh, opponent car waypoints and then let's name this as waypoint and then right here we're gonna say waypoints okay then waypoint dot enabled equals to false okay and we will do the same for the uh, player car as well so right here we're gonna say car controller let's name this as car controller as well actually let's name this as player car okay player car in player cars this is that array and then right here we're gonna say player car dot enabled equals to false now this will disable the scripts now let's uh, create a method in order to enable them so we're gonna change its name to enable scripts and in here instead of false we're gonna type true okay simple as this so let me now do this and now let's create a method to start the countdown and when the countdown starts we're gonna disable the scripts and when the countdown finishes we're gonna enable the scripts again in order to start the race okay so this method will be of type enumerator and let's name this as start countdown routine 
and in here now first of all let's call the disable scripts method okay then create a float by the name of current time and this is going to be equals to the countdown time okay then in the while loop we're going to say that if the current uh, time is greater than zero then uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna wait for one second and then we're gonna decrease one value from the current time so as you know that the countdown uh, time is 5 so 5 will be equals to this current time right here so now the current time is 5 and as you know that 5 is greater than 0 so the while loop will be executed and when it get in here we're gonna wait for one second and then after that we're gonna decrease the current time so then the current time will be equals to 4 and when it goes again it is now 4 so as you know 4 is greater than 0 and when it comes inside the while loop it's gonna be then decreased to 3 and then 2 and then 1 and then after that we're gonna show the code text okay so we're gonna say wait for uh, seconds and that will be 1 and then after that we're gonna decrease the current time so just type current time minus minus and then after that we're gonna enable the scripts uh, enable scripts and also we want to show the uh, text okay the countdown text so for that let's uh, right here create a method by the name of update count down text okay let's uh, pass a string as a parameter to it and in here we're gonna say for each text countdown text in countdown text okay let me actually check it out what we name it right here okay let's make this texts and add s right there as well okay now we're gonna say countdown text dot text equals to text okay this will be this text okay and after this we're gonna create another method which will be update countdown text as well but this time this is gonna take a float and that will be by the name of time and in here we're gonna create a for each loop and we will type the same thing but now in here we don't want to set it to text we're gonna set it to time dot to string and let's pass zero and also let's go ahead and create a method in order to disable the text from the UI okay because as you know that uh, now in the middle of our screen we show uh, the countdown text okay so I want when the countdown text finishes we want to disable it okay because we don't want to show it on the UI so for that we're gonna create a new method which will be by the name of set countdown text active this will take a bool and in here we're gonna paste the same for loop again and in here we're gonna say countdown text dot game object dot set active and let's pass the is active pool okay now right here let's uh, update the countdown text so I'm gonna say uh, update countdown text and let's pass the current time to it okay and also right after when we enable the uh, scripts okay we're gonna show the go text okay 
because uh, we will uh, uh, tell the players to go start the race okay so for that we're gonna call this method and we're gonna pass go text to it okay because as you know that this update countdown text uh, takes a string okay so we're gonna pass go text to it and after that when we show the go text we're gonna wait for one second or if you want you can uh, wait for two second or three second to show the go text and after that we're gonna disable the whole uh, countdown UI so we're gonna call this method set countdown text active and we're gonna pass false to it so it will make it disable okay so let's save the script get back to unity click on game manager and in here let's drag and drop this countdown text in there okay and now when we start the game as you know okay so it is actually showing go and the reason behind this is because we forgot to call this uh, start countdown routine method in the awake so I'm gonna say uh, start routine and in here let's pass this start countdown routine method and that's it okay now if we get back right here okay everything is set up let me click on the game view let's make it fully big and let's see as you can see we can't move our car and nor the opponents but now after showing go as you can see they all are moving as you can see okay all right so it is working perfectly fine the countdown thing and now the next thing which we will be doing is to add the other tournaments okay uh, for example the uh, against time and the practice tournament or you can say the practice mode okay so with this done let's end this video right here